Blizzard goes to honest con. Absolutely no idea what this is about. Have this been recommended by somebody? Last time I played a game was probably back in PlayStation 2, 3 days. Oh, this is a massive event. Yeah. Oh. How's everybody doing? Wow, these gamers are serious, aren't they? You want to raid? Uh oh. Okay, enough fun. Welcome to Honest Con. This event oh my is God. a raging dumpster fire. On Did this honestly happen? I know many of us have friends that didn't get to go to the opening ceremony because of the lottery. So shout out to the Portal Lounge. Thank you all for being here. Especially considering we are streaming this via YouTube for free. I hope it's only slightly less comfortable than your couch at home. Thousands of you here won't get your merch. When you show up at your scheduled time, they'll tell you your order isn't ready yet. And when you come back tomorrow, they'll tell you your <laughs> no way this is real because you didn't pick it up at the scheduled time. No matter what, do not attempt a credit card chargeback, or we will permanently close your Battle.net account. You are some of the most resilient consumers on the planet. And with this event, we just want to see how much abuse you can take to calibrate our pricing going forward. I know. With creativity. <laughs> the horns are going to come out, the devil's horns. Artists and storytellers yeah. in the okay. world is fearlessly monetized. And you don't push back. Our shareholders get very excited to scale our charge more for less business nightmare you're living through into a charge more for nothing nightmare. Do you know what I say to that? Yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> Anywho, here's a taste of the blizzard we are today and the blizzard we are becoming. You know, my son is always buying things online. I don't understand purchasing stuff, but like I said, last time the game was probably back in PlayStation and 3, PlayStation 2 either. Hello, BlizzCon! <laughs> Art director. We want our game to represent this global community. Okay. The East Coast to the West Coast. To lay the foundation for WoW's future. Warcraft Rumble. Warcraft. Yeah. I've heard a lot about Warcraft. I know there's a massive Necro universe on there. Okay. $65. Celebration of pride. A dating sim. An actual dating sim. Lover one. We finally have our first Samoan hero. Dwayne The Rock Johnson from Moana. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? And boom. Premium battle pass activated. Fuck you! Listening to your voices and taking action. So that's it for today, guys. We're looking forward to... Oh, okay. Uh, that shouldn't be here. Um, okay. Uh, that's, uh, that should definitely... Um, okay, sorry. We should have... Uh, that's it for today. <laughs> And we promise Blizzard will never do that stuff again. This is obviously a parody, ain't it? Yeah. There we go. So, is that? Blizzard a game? Absolutely no idea, people. You can fill me in. Now, I've got someone backstage you are all dying to hear from. So let's put our hands together. It obviously and ripping off the, the, of the Blizzard customers. Please join me in welcoming my friend. Our friend. Okay, who's this big welcome? Was that Bill Gates? Gotcha! Hey, hey, hey! Fuck Ooh. you, Mike. Okay, I folks. Some quiet Blizzard twist. is dead. Activision used its corpse as bait for a while. But now, it's the Master Chief's turn to ride the undead pony, and it's gonna be awesome. Many of you here today know that we don't make games for fun anymore. Companies make games for money, not art. Every uh, okay, I've seen this Activision, so they develop games. Is Blizzard a game? I'm sorry for my ignorance. Last time I played a game was on PlayStation 3. I think that was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And uh, PlayStation 4, I've not really touched much of it. I played a bit of that GTA 5. Gaming has taken a whole different spectrum nowadays. Maybe, maybe in the future it'll be like the holodeck from Star Trek. Every company that if you don't know what a holodeck is, and you don't know the future. Big enough, it will be consumed by capitalism. It's become a major catalyst for the evolution of games, and Blizzard's time has come. So congratulations, we couldn't have done it without you. So if you're gonna blame wow. anyone, 
Check your own Battle.net receipts. We all have so much to look forward to, but before you start huffing copium, you should know. There won't be another video game company rising up to fill the void. Because well, it's got a big following. Fight, we'd buy them too. We can treat you like crap and you'll keep coming back because that's what we're all used to by now. And if you ain't broke, why? And I, I see the way games are taking over people's lives. Nothing wrong with having a fine game, but sometimes it seems like he's spitting facts facts in this it must be an amazing game to, for people to be addicted to it why fix it am i right money is the only reason we make games if you can remember that yeah but everyone makes a profit makes sense everyone makes a profit so. it's great to feel the energy in the room you're angry but you'll keep buying our games because here's chris metzen okay What, what is he like the Jesus of gaming world? Blizzard Entertainment. The Blizzard of the company. Warcraft, yes. It has been a long okay. trip to get back to this spot. Everything making sense down. now, so they made the game Honest Warcraft. As one. It feels amazing to be with you again. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time to make a change. They will not change unless you change. So it's time to dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Come on now. Their games could be amazing. Okay. Provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing. But if their games suck. Then you have to unsub immediately and only come back once they respect us. He's got a solid point there. Medicine out. Mwah. World of Warcraft, World of War. Oh boy, that is some high level copium. Okay. Yeah, game is taking a different turn nowadays. You have massive concerts and. Yeah, I, I realised by the end of it that was some sort of parody. But some of the stuff they say, it, it's dangerously true. I mean, I respect you if you play this game, Warcraft. I'm probably a bit old for getting into games. I think once my kids are grown up and my hair's white, I'll be back into games. Some of the games you're talking like, you could be playing for like 12 hours a day. Easily. Nothing wrong with that. If gaming is your thing, it's your thing. Take care, people. Keep the reactions coming up.